Hello everyone. We are here today to commemorate World Asthma Day. The first problem is to understand what asthma is. So asthma is a disease which consists of cough, wheezing and chest tightness in varying combinations which happen intermittently and there is a pattern to this. So it could happen at change of seasons, it could happen when there is cold weather, etc. You would have noticed I have not mentioned breathlessness in all this and the reason is that people feel breathless in asthma when the disease has advanced significantly. How would you diagnose asthma? The way to diagnose asthma is to take a good history and the history would consist of the symptoms that we spoke of but would also consist of listening to the chest and hearing bees. The history would add on to find out about family history. The mom and dad could be having asthma, for instance, or one of the paternal uncles or the grandma or the granddad might have asthma. You take a childhood history and often these people would have history of allergies in childhood. Skin atopy, for instance, might be a manifestation of asthma. Along with this, you do a spirometry and the spirometry is to corroborate the symptoms and signs which make you suspect asthma in these individuals. The spirometry would be obstructive in pattern and giving them a bronchodilator to open their breathing tube improves the spirometry, improves the FEV1 in these patients. The next question is about what precautions to take if you are an asthmatic. And the important carry home message is to avoid triggers. Triggers are aggravating factors for your asthma. These vary from country to country. In our country, pollutants, dust, change of temperature, ice strings seem to be peculiar as triggering factors for asthma. There are others which are common throughout the world. So pollens, for instance, animal dander, so cat and dog hair, for instance, are factors which aggravate asthma in some individuals throughout the world. There are drugs, for instance, aspirin in some individuals, beta blockers, for instance, your metoprolol or atronol tablets can actually aggravate asthma if you take it without realizing that you're taking these drugs. The next important question is, what would you do to lead a normal life? There are role models for this. There are people like Saurav Ganguly, Amitabh Bachchan, etc., who have done brilliantly in spite of having these, this disease. So what they have probably done well is to avoid the triggers we spoke about, to maintain their weight. Obesity is a risk factor and maintaining weight and exercising regularly is important. Take your vaccines, your influenza and pneumonia vaccine, as has been recommended by your doctor. The most important factor, however, is to take your preventive medications regularly. And these are in the form of inhalers. Often, people think that inhalers are habit forming. They are not. Inhalers are the ointment to your breathing tubes. So ointments you apply on the skin when you have a skin problem. Inhalers you take when you have asthma. The most important inhaler in asthma is your inhaled steroid. Often again, People have taboos about inhaled steroids. They feel they make you fat. They feel that they make your skin wrinkle. That's not the case. Steroid inhalers come in very small minute doses and reduce the redness and burning and swelling in your breathing tubes. Take them regularly and you will be healthy and would be able to do whatever you want with your asthma. Make sure you stick to a regime. Go and see your doctor next door as often as he asks you to. And I'm sure that on World Asthma Day, we can pledge that you can lead a normal life with your asthma. All the very best in life. Control your asthma and be happy.